we have an actual example now. So you can try out using the, the procedure that I gave in the previous video on how to determine the roots of a polynomial function. So yeah, you can try it out before you watch the full video. Yeah, so trying out negative one, that is our tryout, just as I guided it in the previous video. So it has given us negative eight, which is a clear indication that is not it is not a, a factor of that polynomial. So we can continue trying out other values. What do you think? Which one can work out? Oh, well, try out positive one. Oh, so in case you don't know where we are getting the the function, we're just getting the, the given question, given function, like in this case, where this two, we drop a two. Then we put the assumed factor. So in this case, we said we try out 1. So where is x, we put the 1s. So x to the power 2, it is 1 to the power 2. 2 by 1, subtract 5. So so in this function, we've, uh, we're trying out 1. Yes, 1. So 2 by 1. 1 to the power 3, of course, we know to just be 1. So that will give us a 2 plus 1 plus 2. Then minus 5. Okay? So 2 plus 1, that is a 3 plus 2, that is 5. 5 minus 5 is equal to 0. So what does this tell us? This tells us that uh, it is a factor. Remember you said you should get what you substituted in the function. So in that case, you say x should be equal to that. But how do we determine the actual factor? This one should go back on your left hand side and it's therefore going to bear x uh, subtract 1 equal to 0. So this is a factor that we're interested in. So, okay? Yes. So there are two ways now you can determine other factors. You can use synthetic division. You can also use <coughs> a long division. So if you are using synthetic division, you can take it right from this stage where x is equal to 1. Okay? Here is our one. We've indicated it. One is it. You draw a line as usual. In case you don't know how to do with synthetic division, you can check out in the previous video. So um, you can indicate the coefficients as we all know. Two, one, two, uh, then negative five. There. Okay. There we are. Then uh, we drop the first coefficient down, multiply it with uh, one on the other side. That would just be okay for the sake of space. I had to try it on the other page. So, like I was saying, uh, x is equal to one, right? So, if you're doing synthetic division, you use this. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I've indicated the one there. I've drawn a line. Then I also have to indicate the coefficients inside there. Okay, the coefficients. The coefficient of 2x to the power 3 is 2, there it's 1, there it's 2, there it's negative 5. So these are the coefficients. So now we, I do, we do the actual synthetic division by drop, first of all dropping the 2. The 2 should be dropped. Then multiply it with uh, 1, which is 2. You add 3. So you repeat the same procedure until the end. In case you are not so acquainted with synthetic division, you can try out. Uh, uh, watching the second uh, video that I posted. Yes. Okay. So, 3. So, we were here. 1 plus 2, 3. So, again, 3 by 1 there to give us a 3. You add to 5. 5 by 1, it is 5. Negative 5 plus 5 is a 0. So, I like I said in the previous video, the last part is remainder. So, what is this telling us? It is telling us if you divide... Uh, this polynomial function by the, the determined factor x minus 1, uh, what it is going to give us is going, it's giving us this and the remainder of 0. So I alluded that uh, each time you're given a polynomial function of power 3, its factor is supposed to, uh, to reduce by 1 power. So in this case, this 2 would be 2x to the power 2. So therefore, 2x to the power 2. Uh, plus uh, 3x and plus 5. So this is the other factor that we can try out to factorize.
okay so the next stage is to factorize this okay uh try out to product the sum yes okay so you can try out so the product is 2 by 5 then the sum is 3 factors so what numbers can you multiply if you multiply we give you 10 if you add them we give you 3 so in this case this function has got no factors okay it has got no factors so if it doesn't have factors so if the question was asking you to factorize it the answer our final answer or your final answer would be so the first factor will determine it was x minus 1 okay then uh, you indicate that function as well with brackets okay equal to zero so we factorized this function now in case the question was trying to ask you about determining the roots of this function the answer will just be x is equal to one this polynomial function only has one root okay there are some functions there are some polynomial functions raised that uh equate some cubic functions that only have got one root what that means it simply means it's able to uh, it only cuts the the the, the x-axis at one point there are some functions that are like this just move like this then only one at one point that's the kind of function that we are talking about in this example okay I hope you enjoyed enjoy your day make sure to share you comment and also subscribe for more videos on certain mathematical topics okay thank you